you're thinking about it all the wrong way. Every man is an island. Every man is an island. Every man, every person, fine. Every person is an island. Every person starts with a certain amount of dirt. You see it now? Every person starts with a certain amount of dirt. Some start with none. Some are born dead. <laughs> it's fucked up, isn't it? Some are born dead. And others are born fucking landlocked. Landlocked. Nowhere else to go. It's just dirt on dirt. They're born into the shit, right? So they can't conceive of what it means to do dirt. They can't conceive of what it means to 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 work in doing dirt. If, I mean, in this example, if dirt was a resource of sorts. And yet, there is still me a means and a mode of for communication. I mean, whether or not these islands are an arm's reach away, a stone's throw away, within your line of sight, or you can hit them up by phone, email, using the internet, social media, some other form of high-speed communication, hyper-speed communication. And the goal, the goal is to get these islands connected. The goal is to essentially make a kingdom. For some, the goal is to become landlocked, is to have their future generations to become landlocked. But, but, if you continue, if you, if you were to go down that path of setting up your future generations, I mean, and I, I mean setting up in, with, well, and with good intentions. <laughs> Here it comes. If you go about trying to set up future generations with good intention, you will fuck up. You will fuck up. Landlocking future generations who've, who've never seen water the first time they have that the first time they have to put in work, the first time they have to do some dirt in order to let's say build bridges, build a bridge, build a dirt bridge, build a walkway over some water. The first time they come across some water, they're fucking done. They're done. It would be in your best interest to keep them landlocked, to not let them out of the fucking house because when they come out, they're dealing with sharks out here, baby. <laughs> they're dealing with motherfucking land sharks. It's not that hard to conceive, man. It's not it's not that hard to conceive of. If you if you really think about it, you really think about it. What you're doing is building bridges between these islands using the dirt you already have. And it's only to keep the analogy simple. I'm not going to go and be like you got to mine your island and pull ore and fucking for forge it and smelt it and <laughs> and cast it into steel to build this fucking bridge over to another I no, 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 no. It's it's just metaphysical. It's just I mean, we're talking meta here. Every person is their own island. And what you want to do is build a bridge, essentially bridge all of these islands, is find common ground between all the folks in your particular network, in your particular society. Find common ground that you can build on that you can work with and you can do you could do dirt together <laughs> you could do dirt together that's cute it's difficult reaching out building those bridges for those who've uh, never seen water before but for those folks who have 
less on their island. They're hungrier. They're hungrier for that connection. They're willing to do more. They're willing to put in more work. They're willing to do the kind of dirt others won't in order for their bridge to be effective, in order for their bridge to work. Again, this is an uber simplified explanation. I mean, we're not talking like Cubans <laughs> who, leave, who leave their fucking island, <laughs> damn near paddle their way to a larger, to a larger piece of land <laughs> in order to what, become landlocked here? Nah, I mean, they got a certain type of hunger. They know they, they might have an idea of what they're doing. They aren't all scarfaces. They aren't all, you know, they aren't all into the fuckery. Some of them are, most of them, I would argue, are honest and hardworking, as is, uh, as, as are most immigrants. But there are some issues with, um, with, uh, how do I phrase it? With allowing... There are some issues with allowing folks to take from your island and not build bridges with it. Let's put it that way. Keeping it within the analogy. <laughs> I'm not here to comment on, on motherfucking foreign and domestic policy. That's not my business. My business is corporate. I'm a man of business. I'm not even a businessman. That's some corporate cowboy shit. My name is Alex. I'm your intern at Incorporating Associates. This is the Corporate Cowboys podcast. You can find us on Patreon. Subscribe. Go ahead. Share it with friends. Let them know. Yo, I heard this weird ass podcast. It's just this one guy pretty much laying out his confessions. But my associates know what I'm doing. And um, by vote, well, I'm the voice. And uh, hopefully the face keeps the mask. The ski mask, I mean, because the face could be anybody. I'm just the voice for it now. I'm just the voice coming into your ear. And until that voice leaves your own mouth. You won't really know what it means to be a corporate cowboy. But, I presume, the more episodes you listen, the more you realize that the vehicle doesn't matter to a certain extent. It's the message that matters. It's that message that corporate loves you. Corporate needs you. Corporate needs you more than you need corporate. The people inside corporate need you. Together, you can build bridges. Corporate is just a platform on which to do it. Corporate is a collection of islands. On Instagram, you can follow us. That's at incorporating.associates underscore IA. If you want to shoot us a donation to keep the operation non-profit, do that. PayPal.me slash corporate cowboys. Cash app also. That's dollar sign corporate cowboys. And Venmo me, Alex underscore Coco. So... I am your single point into the world of corporate through the eyes of a corporate cowboy. And uh, this is all powered by incorporating associates. So who I report to now doesn't matter. I'm, I'm in a circle of bosses. I'm in a circle of leaders. 
it's just been voted that I be the voice. Been voluntold. As far as building bridges goes, might I suggest humor? Might I suggest seriousness? Might I suggest a message like a spatula? If we're going to put these islands on anything, put these islands on a flat surface. Put these islands not just on water, but on a flat surface. And the bridges you have to build are simply paths. Paths you have to cross in which you can meet one another on mutual terms. Again, finding that common ground on which to build on, on which to have positive relations keep things light keep things professional it's plenty of time to get serious plenty of time to get dirty plenty of time for violence and when it all goes down it feels like it lasts forever and only takes a split second that's some scary shit don't don't want to have to walk down that one too many times. <laughs> somebody, somebody said, you think you're dope? You're liable to get smoked. <laughs> that shit gets me every time. <laughs> if you think you're dope, you are liable to get smoked. Such is life. Such is the way of life. In order to build bridges effectively, want to use your words like a, like a spatula, essentially. A lot of folks out here have the exposure or have been exposed to items that traumatize them, to items that get them stuck, to items that shake them up and they can't move, to items that cause them to freeze, to items that cause they're thinking to stick you want to use your words like a spatula and yeah I am bringing in that recurring theme of the skeleton key employing your words to slip into their space of consciousness and simply turn them over provide them that fresh page provide them that new leaf provide them that breath of air they need to continue and believe it's mystery it's fucking mystery provide that mystery for them and that requires you finding that common ground and enticing them to build that bridge, to walk in your direction. I don't mean enticing like attracting them with, with money and propositions. Nah, just simple knowledge. It's a simple conversation. Again, it's, I'm making it sound technical. And that's funny because in oversimplifying it just over this podcast... I'm making it sound technical when it's not at all as hard as I am making it sound technical. It's not that it's not even that hard. I'm just oversimplifying it. Don't overthink it. There's plenty of time to overanalyze and overthink when you're by yourself, stuck with your own thoughts. Plenty of time to do that. <laughs> plenty Plenty of time for regrets, for 
for anger and regrets in the shower or before you go to sleep, before you pray. (laughs) Plenty of times, plenty of time for all of that. But the goal is communication. The goal is unceasing communication. It's in the way you talk. It's in the way you walk. It's in the way you look at somebody. It's in the way you move. It's in your attitude. That's how you build bridges. And you have to be... You have to you have to be motivating. You have to motivate yourself in order to mo- motivate others. You have to lead yourself in order to lead others. <clears throat> I was I was going down another uh train of thought and I reconsidered because I would be equating humans to rats, but that's another topic. That's another time. In order to in order to entice and encourage folks to move, to get moving, to get active. I mean, you have to you you yourself have to be motivated. You yourself have to be inspired. That's the form of social inertia you want to have circulating around you. And it takes training. It's not going to be instantaneous. For some, it might be instantaneous, but it it takes training. It takes training for it to be consistent, for it to be constant. It's like like hyping yourself up uh, to be in a good mood. I mean, there are other instances where you might hype yourself up. Maybe you are about to, um, for lack of a better phrase now, maybe you're about to hit a lick and you have to hype yourself up. Now, the lick is going to be five minutes in and out. You want to be out in less than five minutes. So you're hyping yourself up only for this five minutes and then whatever proceeds after, whatever consequences flow from it after, assuming uh, your risks have already been calculated and you know what your objectives are upon entry, upon going in. You're just hyping yourself up for the five minutes. You're getting yourself ready. You're getting your senses acutely sharpened you are sharpening your senses, honing them. It could be you could be right outside of the doorway. And you and, and and all you're doing is just turning your senses up to 11 for 5 minutes. In daily life, that requires training because during those 5 minutes, you're not just running on happy go lucky good feeling emotion you're running on stress you're running on adrenaline you're running on fear you're running on rage you're you're running on items you don't use or you may not use in your day-to-day life on the daily you want to train yourself and this could be more easily done because it's not as taxing on remaining positive I'm looking for the light side of all situations. Working on on viewing things from a humorous perspective, always. I've trained myself to the point where I could see myself. I mean, maybe this is um. Maybe this is a tale, a tale. Maybe this is a tale, but. I could see myself in the mirror and I could laugh because that motherfucker looks ugly and handsome and funny and retarded and and stupid and smart and a fucking genius all at the same time. He just looks funny. So I can laugh at him. I can find humor at this guy. I can find humor in this guy. This guy looks humorous to me. 
take a step back and look at the mirror. Mirrors are just funny. The way they work, why we have them, what good are they for? And it sounds, again, that sounds, it sounds retarded because, <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds retarded because I'm making it technical. Like there's no, there's no real reason to be hyper aware of mirrors, to be hyper aware of your reflection, to be hyper aware of the, of the nail that's keeping the mirror on the wall and then hyper aware of the wall and then having to fucking laugh at all of it. I mean, that's why I'm not laughing right now on this podcast or I would never get a fucking sentence out. Even talking is funny. It's funny to me. It's funny watching people's mouths move and air coming across their teeth in the form of words I can understand. It's funny to me. It's funny watching people work sign language. It's funny watching people talk in a different language because there are different emotions being evoked. There are different gestures, different modes in the way they speak, their accent, their enunciation, their pronunciation, their body language, the signals they give off, the cues, the energy again. The common ground might just be motivation. The common ground might just be inspiration, might just be aspiration. The common ground might be reaching out and being active and working together and doing dirt together. And again, that requires you taking a look at what you're standing on, on the dirt you have beneath you, the dirt you have under your feet. And laugh, because that shit's funny. You already got work to do. Hop to it. You have to be aware of the work you have before you. And it starts at a very individual level. It starts with yourself. It starts with getting in a good mood, hyping yourself up for the daily. Hyping yourself up just for the day. You don't need to be turned up to 11 all the time. Can you imagine the demands you would give? The orders you would bark? Nobody would fucking take you serious. Somebody would pop you just to get you to shut the fuck up. I mean, if... <laughs> that would... That would... That would blow a hole in your fucking theory of being assertive and being aggressive and <laughs> and taking the bull by the horns. <laughs> oh shit. <clears throat> nah, no. It's just training yourself, hyping yourself up for the day where if you're hitting a lick, you might only hype yourself up for that window of time in which you need to be operative. And in your daily life, you want to hype yourself up for the day in which you have before you. So instead of a 5, 10, 15 minute window, hopefully not more, 24 hours. Or just the time that you're awake. You want to hype yourself up for that. You want to look forward to it. You want to be happy. You want to be humorous. You want to be light, lighthearted, smiling, laughing, if possible. Or working to make others laugh and then laughing at them laughing. That's my secret. That's how I get off. <laughs> <laughs> and recognize that, that this doesn't come from love. It doesn't come from hate. It comes from within. It comes from what you are. It comes from what you are. You, you could only fool people for so long as you have yourself fooled. You could only fool people for so long as you have fooled yourself. 
It's not that hard, man. Just don't fuck around. Quit fooling yourself. You end up getting murked. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I guess if you think you're dope, your lab would have get smoked. <laughs>